So we're at the phase where we've got the frames made and pretty much all the parts, including the extruder. Only outstanding thing right now is really the electronics panel and then all the wiring. But from now on, it should go pretty relatively quick. So the deal is, um, let's start with one of the axes and move through that in a logical process and then kind of you know, wait for everybody to get finished on one step and you know, we all work it together. We're all set up so that you can kind of see what, what's going on. Um, so uh, let's... This is supposed to be a for fitting reasons. Okay. So what is an axis? It's made of the motor piece. We're going to start with Back to the orientation of how we discussed there's a particular orientation for the 3D printer. If you're facing your 3D printer, control panel on the left, Z's front and back, Y1, Y2, left and right. So the X axis is kind of like the main one that travels between the, the Y's. But before you put the X on, which is our main working, working piece, you, you need to have both of the Y's. So let's start with the left Y, which is this one right here. So what we want to do is copy it exactly as it is here. There's an orientation, orientations matter, the motor is that way. Um, you know, copy it exactly. So the one, one little extra piece that we haven't talked about yet is the end stop, which is a mechanical limit switch that tells you when you're homing all the way to the zero position. And it's attached actually by these uh, couple of magnets, which we can do, do a little later. That's the axis. Uh, there's a bolt that goes through that hole right there. So it's a top bolt. So there's, there's two pieces like this. They're symmetric. They are not identical. Mirror images are not identical. Even though they're made of all the same parts and everything, they're not identical. This one will not fit here. The, otherwise, the, the bolt will be on the bottom. So the, the bolt goes at the top, just like here too the bolt goes at the top as well. Um, but this one, you can flip it up and down because it's, it's symmetric. This part itself is not symmetric, so the bolt position matters. Here, the bolt position doesn't matter because the part itself is symmetric, so you can flip it up and down. But that's, that's that. Okay, but before we go any further on that, uh, there's a step of the work working tool. As I said, this is removable. That's a magnetic mount, okay? We wanna do this first. So we want to attach the magnets because they're going to take a little bit to dry and then we want to have this ready for the time when we're attaching the, y, the x-axis. We don't have to mess with putting all those jumpy magnets on because they're hard. They're hard to put on. So how do we put them on? Um, Andre, did you get all the patterns or well, just Well, I got one? one for each table. Okay. So what you'll Here's notice, on, look at that. So we have a master pattern. You cannot get these magnets in just by saying like, okay, I'm going to put one in and next. They don't, they don't do that, they'll jump out. They're very strong, they're like seven pounds each. So what I did was I attached one master set to the piece of metal. In fact, I glued it so you can't move them around. And we use that as a pattern for all the other ones. So what you'll see is a sheet of paper like this, which has got a relatively decent pattern for this, for the magnets. So what you're gonna do is take a metal plate and we have these cut plates, they're like right behind the printer, they're in the original box. There's a bunch of these metal plates. Uh, put your piece of plastic, piece of paper on it, and then put the magnets on. Uh, Andre, can I have your box of the magnets? So the magnets are these little discs, three by 12 millimeters. Attach it, one by one, on the paper, on the paper because your paper is a pattern. And once you get that pattern in, you, which you'll, is that? This is what you're looking for, this box? Yeah. So, so we've got 100 packs of magnets here, and that's to print the heated surfaces. So take a, uh, each table also needs a, one stack of magnets like this. So in other words, take a whole, whole roll, which is 25 in there. You need 20 altogether. Oh, actually, 24 you need altogether. So take a, you know, Stack a piece. Um, okay, so I'll take this one. So all you're gonna do is attach them one by one. Uh, these and this pattern is it should be a little more accurate because because I can't I can't tell so this may not be that great. Um, but we will do what we can. What you can do. <clears throat> Andre, was there a, 
more logic behind why these he ran up to the building, he'll be right back. I wonder if he had a better technique, because part of it is, this is definitely right. They're going to self-align. In fact, they're going to have the same polarity. They have polarity north and south. So what you got to do, you, what you, you want to put them at the same, same polarity. And you can test that by putting a magnet to it, and I see that they're all the same polarity. Otherwise, you can't see it, because the fields are invisible. Now, these, I know I put them on yesterday, and, and they're the right polarity. Just select. It doesn't matter what it, if it's north or south, but all of them have to be uniform. Um, and I don't know which is north and south here. So on this pattern, you'll definitely get it all aligned. And maybe that's what we do. Maybe like, since I'm not sure how well this is going to work unless somebody, somebody's got better ideas. But I, I would say we just do this, but we only have one of these. That's what I was thinking, but that's the same downside I was Running, running, won't be able to, every table will be able to do it. Well, what we do is you do this. Okay, so now we need glue. You get the crazy glue, a little dot on top of it. So these are good polarity. This is a good pattern. And we're going to stick them onto this. So all you do is put a dab, which is, which is going to be just a little bit. Not too much, because if you put too much, it takes forever to dry. Is that okay? So you gotta. Some of these are not open yet, so you poke it with a tip. Okay, that's too much there. You might have a hard time drying. So just a little bit, kind of like a good convex bubble, because we can add more on the sides later. But we want to pay attention that. So how, what do you call that? It's like an one, you know, take a look at that. I mean, how do you put on a good dab is the idea. Yeah. Not too little, but not too much like the first one because it's going to literally when it's, it's it, it dries by air and if you got too much mass there, it just takes forever. So that's it. And then you put this on and then you get, and it's going to stick on. So, done. Why don't we do this? So this person here, Shell's got this going on. Just pass it on when in five minutes. Five minutes timing. Just pass it on. So we don't have to worry about this. But do, uh, and this is self-explanatory because they will self-align. So that's good. And that way, uh, I mean, in theory, the glue dries like 30 seconds or one minute, two minutes. But when you have too much, like it can take like 30 minutes or something. So just do this. Uh, it's nice and flat. The gravity is what's keeping it. Now when you take it off, you don't want to pull it straight up because that's where the magnets have the most force. Twist it. Twist it or twist it to the side so you're putting the least stress on the magnets because they may not be fully attached to the plastic. And after that, dab just a little bit more on the sides, like maybe two sides on each. Uh, so, yeah. Um, say, say this is the final. Yeah, and they're strong. So, like, kind of be careful with them because they are hard. Strong, very strong. Um, so, at the end of the day, just put like a dab around once, like, go through all of them, one side, one side, one side. Just a little, another little dab so you reinforce it and then do it, maybe turn it around and do like another. So you just make sure that magnets don't come off. It will work with as many, as little probably as six magnets. We put on 10 for a little more support. So if one or two pop off, it's not, it doesn't really matter, but um, it's better than they don't. So we're not fussing with that. That's it. So that's, that's on the magnet part. Five, like, I don't know, if maybe just keep time, five minutes. but. It's something that goes on in the background. It takes you like 30 seconds to do, or a couple of minutes to do, and then you just put it in the background. So, but that's where, where all of us can work on the axis. So, uh, do people have questions on what to do about the Y1? We'll call it the Y1. You're facing it with a controller on the left-hand side. Well, you don't have the controller on. But the Z-axis, right now, your machine does not have an orientation. It could be that way. It could be 180 degrees, and it doesn't make a difference. Oh yeah, but we said we're going to drill the holes first too, so we got to do that. 
Um, and that's, that's the first step. We'll drill them on all these frames. Just go, uh, let's get every, everybody a punch. We'll drill them like half an inch, quarter inch, half an inch from the edge at the level of your bottom. Now, some of them are different. This is one and a half inch. That's one inch. Uh, but yeah, just get it straight parallel. And, and then go six inches up because the, the plexiglass piece is uh, six by 12. So if you go six inches up, that's going to be a good location. Uh, so let's do, let's do the drilling because we, we wanted to say we, we do all that together. Uh, the punches are here. Just take any of them. They've got a point. They're hardened steel and they've got a little point. So they will mark right this on the what punching is. So punching lesson. <laughs> um, point, point to So yeah, just comfortable distance away. Like you can do it by eye. It doesn't really matter. Just even with the with the bottom layer. So you do that. You, you poke a little hole in it so that when you do a drill bit, it won't drift on you. Already, it's kind of like. I'll do it again, but so a nice tap and you have an indentation and a drill bit that you use will not drift away from that. Otherwise it might start there, you'll end up at the edge. And then yeah. So so that's the step. So everybody uh, grab a little punch, grab one of these, uh, grab a hammer.